Hey YouTube, it's uh, Surplus CCGs here. Sorry we haven't uh, updated our YouTube in quite some time. Uh, but from now on, we have about two weeks left in school. We have a couple of finals coming up, but we're going to try to uh, start uploading a lot more videos than what we usually do. So we'll try to do at least a couple uploads a week. So right now, this video is going to show you guys how to send us your points or bulk cards. So this is a large flat rate priority box, as you guys can see here. These are free at your local post office, or you can even order them online if you guys want to send us a lot of points. So what the point system pretty much is, is a pretty easy way of getting rid of all your, um, your bulk commons, uh, rares, supers, ultras, secrets, ultimates, ghosts, gold series cards, etc., etc. Uh, our um, rates are in the description below. You know, so you guys can take a look at those and uh, you know do some of the math for you guys yourself. If you guys need any help, uh, we're always available through a private message, and we're you know we always check our private messages every single day. So you guys can look forward to uh, getting a pretty fast response from us. But um, really fast, just uh, go into this really fast. Uh, large flat rate boxes such as this one holds um, 7,500 Yu-Gi-Oh cards. So I always get people asking us on Pojo or on YouTube. Um, you know, what's, you know, it's going to take us three days to count our cards. It shouldn't really take you that long because what we usually do, these are all common cards, right? Or, you know, whatever, just a bunch of whatever cards. And, um, so yeah, I have a hundred cards here. So after you count up a hundred cards, that's it. You can just stack it like this and then take another stack of cards. I know it sounds really stupid, but you know, I get a lot of questions about this. Then just like that. That's a, that's a rough estimate of a hundred, another hundred cards. Now you have 200 cards, so now you take another stack, and you stack it up to, you know, be equal, you know, another another equal stack, approximate, you know, it doesn't have to be exact, but now, you know, now you have 400 cards, and then you can just keep stacking like that, and so you get, let's say you just want to stop at 400 cards like I just did right here, you know, that's 400 cards, now I can just keep making other stacks of 400 like this, you know, just keep stacking them up like that. And now I have, you know, 800 cards, and then I can do another stack. This will be my last stack, by the way, so you guys don't think I'm just going to waste your time talking about random stacks like this. I just took a bunch of random Yu-Gi-Oh cards that we haven't gone through yet to uh, give you guys an example of what this point system is all about. Alright, so now let's say I have, these are all my cards I have. These are all my points I want to send surplus DCGs. So you have three stacks of 400 there, so you just multiply it by three. That's 1,200 cards. So pretty much you just counted 1,200 cards in like, you know, a couple seconds. We could do that a lot faster if, you know, we weren't trying to explain it on camera. So, now here's how we, if you guys are sending us bulk cards, I should have mentioned this sooner. What the point system is used for is if you guys want to sell your points or your bulk cards to us, um, one common card, let me see, yeah, like one common card like this is one cent. That's our going rate right now. We, you know, our rates fluctuate from you know, time to time, but for right now, it's one cent a common. So every hundred commons is a dollar, every thousand commons is ten dollars, so, you know, so on and so forth. Um, if you guys want to get rare cards, like, uh, you know, um, I don't even know how to pronounce some of the new cards from the Abyss Rising set, but uh, there's like a, you know, one of those mermail cards that's worth like a whole bunch of money. If you guys want like an eighty dollar card, it's eight thousand points. It's pretty, you know, self-explanatory, but no matter what you guys have, let's say you have fifty thousand points. That's $500, right? If there's a $500 item out there that you guys are looking for, whether it's a, you know, a world championship play mat, a prize card, um, a box of cards, a case of cards, etc. Any monetary value, whether it's $100, $1,000, anything like that, we can get it for you guys as long as you guys have enough points. So enough of me talking. Um, I just wanted to make sure that I, you know, got that point across. Now, if you guys, let's say, like I said before, this box fits 7,500 cards, right? All right, so when you guys send your cards, the best, the only way to get the 7,500 cards in here and to pack it perfectly so none of the cards get messed up or damaged through shipping, hopefully, is by doing it this way. And we're gonna try to show you guys as fast as possible how we'd like you guys to send your, your points to us. Now, if you guys are sending us multiple rarities like rares, um, ultra rares, super rares, commons, you know, things like that. The way you can separate it in the box is always put the common cards at the bottom. Okay? And then build on that. But when I'll show you guys when we get to the top, make that like maybe your second layer, because 
right now we're just going to work on our first layer. So, like I said, I really am going to try to do this as fast as I can for you guys. I've even made myself some stacks so I can speed it up a little bit. So pretty much what you're going to do is the first three layers is going to be that, like that, you know? Just listen to some Bob Marley here. Some nice relaxing chill music. Alright, so we're almost done with our second layer here. And again, um, something we haven't mentioned yet. We, we do uh, take all Yu-Gi-Oh cards, so whether they're, you know, holographic or whatever, or if you just have common cards or rares, they all work fine with us. Um, if you guys have, if you guys see something in our, don't see something in our rates below, you guys can just uh, send us a private message or post a comment below because I'm sure other people will be curious as well. And, uh, we'll, you know, answer you guys as soon as possible. We, we like I just said, we buy every kind of Yu-Gi-Oh card. As long as it's English, um, as far as condition, we get a lot of questions about that, that as well. For the most part, we're not going to be too anal about, um, you know, the condition about the cards. If you guys send us cards, but, uh, we, we, we request that at least 95% of the cards are in, like, mint to near mint condition. If the other 5%, are um you know a little bit like now I'm I don't I don't want any played cards or not I'm, I'm sorry not played cards but like you know heavy damage heavy wear like um all right forgive me I'm about, I'm about to damage a Yu-Gi-Oh card let me go try to find a okay I'll use stray lambs as an example see right now to us that's like a near mint mint card okay you know most of the sides when you put the cards inside the box should look you know pretty white you know a little bit off white's okay like if you guys send us a box like this, that's perfect. You know, we can already tell everything's looking pretty good here. But all of a sudden, if you get like a, a, a you know, an edge that's like this, you know, a little bit folded over, a little bit damaged. If about 5% of the cards are about like that, we're not going to be too, like, you know, crazy about it. But it's when you start sending us cards that look like, like this, and it happens to us all the time. Like where it's, you can pretty much see this card's been folded now. It's got a huge crease in it. We get these kind of cards all the time and people think like, oh yeah, he's going to take these cards. But, you know, we're looking to trade these up or, uh, you know, resell them. You know, after going through them and picking out some of the cards you can use to make decks, etc. That's pretty much what you, everybody asks us what we use points for. We either trade them up, we put them in decks, make decks, sell the decks. Or we, uh, you know, just give them the local people at our tournaments to, you know, help them out with whatever kind of deck they're thinking about building. But uh, yeah, people send us these kind of cards all the time. They're like jacked up like that, or they're like, even if there's like some waves in the card, you know? Like I didn't even like bend it that far yet, but when you hit, when you fold it up, you can kind of already see like there's like a little like folding going on here. Yeah. So if you guys have any cards like this, please do not include them in the in the box. It drives us a little bit crazy. But like I said, if there's like a little nick, like if the card looks perfect like this, it looks awesome, but it has a little like a little bit of wear up here. We'll take five percent of the box like that. All right, so our first thing's done now. So you guys see that there, there's three rows going this way. Now, to fill in the space over here, we're just gonna drop cards sideways like this. And if you're not trading points with us and you're trading them with other people, um, please you know, write to us first to see if we can't beat the rates or maybe give you a better deal on shipping or tell you how fast we can pay it because we, we're usually pretty fast with how we turn things over you know we'll count these up within like a couple days at the most um usually it's about a day that we you know it takes us to count your points and get you guys paid we do have paypal and we do have cash because i know a lot of a lot of people don't have uh paypal at the moment but uh hopefully you guys will in the future but yeah we can send you guys cash also so we have no problem with that we'll make trade proof videos for you guys if you guys you know are like hey you know and we, you know, we would like you guys to do the same for us. So if you guys are sending us points and you guys want to put, you know, a trade proof video up for us, just put like surplus CCG's trade proof and send it to us in like a link. All right, it's a bad example. Usually they just fall in pretty well. But yeah, okay, I'll leave it like that for now. All right, so now on the second, the second tier up here, okay, now we're gonna build our second tier. What you want to do is these cards are going in this direction. 
Seconds here, you want to put it going in the opposite direction. So we're going to work this way now. Make three rows and then fill up the cards on this side. So now you're blocking in all the space. And again, this fits 7,500 cards. Um, if you guys are getting bored at this point, uh, I, feel, I completely understand. Uh, what I'd recommend you do is just, you know, maybe like cut through if you guys don't want to hear me, you know, talk about other things that might be important. But for the most part, I'm trying to do this as quickly as possible while explaining the point system to you guys at the same time. Um, so yeah, like I was saying, separating rarity, here's a very important thing before you start jumping around, fast forwarding and stuff. The second tier is where you guys can put the holographic cards at, or the rares, or whatever is worth more than commons at the moment, you know? So, be like that. So let's say that these are all my rares, right? I'm working on my rares right now. At the end of the at the end of the process, you're gonna add cards on the top of them like this. Oh, just got interrupted in my Bob Marley songs, man. All right, so okay, you're gonna stack them up until like pretty much about where this top rim is right here. This top, you know, I didn't really do a great job yet, but you know, fill them in like this. Again, like I said, this is the best way to ship, guys. Large flat rate box with delivery confirmation. I always recommend you guys use delivery confirmation so you guys can track your package to make sure it reaches us and so that we can see that it's left to you guys. So that, you know, it's good for both of us. It costs about 75 cents additional. But um, large flat rate box with delivery confirmation is about like 14 or 15 bucks. Maybe if you, maybe even like 15, 25 or something. But you're, you're sending us, you know, if they're all common cards, you're sending us $75 in cards. Um, we will help on shipping if you guys have a tremendous amount of points, like if you have like 20,000, 25,000 points, stuff like that, we'll, you know, we'll help you guys out. But for the most part, um, our prices reflect shipping. All right, give me a second here, I'm going to try to get a big chunk of cards. That didn't work that well, but now nah, I can. Oh, this little, Rose gave me a little bit of a hard time. All right, here, I'll take these down right now. So, yeah. So, you're gonna be able to fit 7,500 Yu-Gi-Oh cards. So if you're sending, you know, 20,000 cards, which is probably like two and a half large flat rate boxes, or two two large flat rate boxes and a medium flat rate box, which, really quick, let me see if I have one. It's a terrible example. Well, it's not a terrible example, but it's a used party bo uh, medium party box, but it's about this size. That'll fit about 5,000 cards. So if you guys are sending us a whole bunch of um, cards and you guys have you know 20,000 points or whatever and you guys put, like I said, 7,500 cards approximately fit in a large flat rate box. So if you do two of these and uh, 5,000 cards in a medium flat rate box, lined up the same same identical way like this, um, that should be able to get you guys at the 20, you know, to 20,000 points. We'll help out with shipping. We'll probably be able to pay like maybe half the shipping with you guys, you know? Oh, it's a little bit of a problem. I hate when the cards start flipping in opposite directions, but we're almost done. So, okay, you guys don't, it doesn't always have to be cards that you guys want. If you guys want a comic book or if you guys want a new video game, new video game system, like a, a Wii U or something like that, we can get it for you, no problem, if you guys have enough points. Now, we don't really like to do, like, um, points and cards. So, if you're like, oh, you know, I have 10,000 points, which is 100 bucks, and you're like, you know, I want to do another, uh, 20,000 points to get my, you know, get the 32 gigabyte Wii U. Can I give you $200 in, you know, secret rare cards that are worth like $100 each? We don't want to do that. We'd prefer just pure points because that's just, you know, what we're interested in doing right now. We haven't done trade binders in a while. We're trying to avoid doing trade binders. So, but yeah, anything you guys are looking for, Nintendo 64 games, anything that's on the internet that you guys are interested in buying, whether it's a, um, like I said, a video game. Uh, it could be clothes, it could be, sh you know, some LeBron 9s or something like that on eBay. And if it's whatever it is, it doesn't matter what the price is. As long as you guys have the points that make up for it. If you guys have a whole bunch of points, by all means, just let us know what you're looking for and we'll get it for you no matter what it is. As long I mean, if, if we can't find it, if it's not on eBay, then it might take us a little bit more time to get it for you. But we'll set up a point tab for you guys. We use an Excel spreadsheet and it will put your username, your address... All that good stuff and tell us how many points you guys have. And if you guys want to continue to send us points, you can, you know, keep adding to it as well. All right, so that's that's a pretty rough idea of what this is going to look like now. So you guys can already see we're making some progress here. So 
right now we probably have maybe 60, 6,800 cards, some, you know, approximate. So now we're just going to start laying cards on top like I was saying before. I'll show you what the final product should look like. But yeah, we're almost done here. Now you want to make sure that it's not hitting over the lip because it's going to mess it up when you go to try to close it. Um, if you guys need tape for priority boxes, another great thing I can recommend is they have free priority tape at the uh, post office. So like when you go there to pick up your free large rate, uh, large flat rate priority box from the post office, just say, hey, can I get some uh, priority packing tape? It's free. They'll give it to you. And then you just wrap up your, your um, wrap it up really good because I have had people like put one piece of tape on the bottom and it's a nightmare because it goes, they, get, they give it to the post office and then when the post office gets it, you know, they, they like throw it around, all that stuff. And that one piece of tape that you're putting on the bottom gets undone and then they have a huge mess on their hands and they just end up either not sending us a package or they send us a bunch of damaged cards with um, some kind of like large flat box like this, but just with all your cards just messy, thrown in there, damaged. And that's not in all cases. That only happens sometimes if we're lucky. So definitely tape the hell out of it. We don't care if you guys want to put, you know, wrap the whole box up with tape and then put a label on top. That's okay. We're not gonna we're not gonna get all messed up with you because we have to cut through a lot of tape. Some people think we do, but we're not we're not gonna get upset if that happens. All right. Um, let me get some more Yu-Gi-Oh cards real fast. Alrighty. So you, I mean, you guys pretty much get the general idea of what's going on here. So, this is what a finished product would look like right here. We got that, and we might be able to put another row of cards. And again, we're using a large flat box that you guys can get for free at your post office. Why am I flipping while it's set down? Just because it looks cool. Well, okay, yeah. All right, a little bit more. All right, all right, so let's say this is like our final product right here. It's a, you know, a little bit sloppy on top, but whatever. You're able to fit all 7,500 cards in here, give or take a couple parts. All right, so that's the 7,500 cards is finished, it's done. You guys can just do this, do that, do that, squeeze it together a little bit. Maybe even put like a little piece of paper here. Always include what our deal is, no matter when you're trading with us, no matter what. If you're trading us a common card, just put inside the box, hi, my name is Mr. Friendler One, um, my Pharaoh servant for your Blue Eyes White Dragon, whatever. You know, some just some random ass trade like that. You know, and put it on top of the box, because that way when we get it, we're not going to realize what your name is because we always refer to you guys on, you know, YouTube and you'll give us your username or whatever. And we're not going to see, you know, like, okay, let's say your name is James. I'm not going to know that James is the person I spoke to on YouTube with the username Mr. Friendler one I'm not going to know that. But if you put inside the box Mr. Friendler one we'll pick it up right away. We'll look at our Excel spreadsheet, say, okay, we owe James a uh, Blue Eyes White Dragon. Put that in an envelope with a top loader, send it to you, and we're good to go. Um... Other than that, that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions as far as the point system goes, uh, just real fast to recap. If you guys want expensive cards, you guys want boxes, cases, PlayStation 3s, whatever it is, whatever your, you know, jailbroken Apple TVs, you want, whatever it is, a plasma TV set, I don't care what it is. As long as you guys have the points to, you know, account for the system or whatever you guys are trading for, it could be anything, clothes, whatever you guys want on the internet, we can get for you for, so pretty much, one common card or a rare. Or rares are worth two right now, so this is uh, two cent, two cents. So, let's say you have seventy-five hundred cards, and just, let's just pretend they're all commons. That's seventy-five dollars for this one box. So if that's all the cards you have, we'll get you anything you want for seventy-five dollars. If you want seventy-five dollars PayPal, seventy-five dollars cash, uh, cash a seventy-five dollar item off the internet, whatever it is, is fine with us. Now, if you want a hundred dollar item, you only have seven thousand five hundred points, which is seventy-five dollars. We don't want an extra, you know, like a $25 super or, a, you know, secret rare card. Not, We don't want that. We just want points for that, you know? It's very easy to find. You know, you buy packs all the time and just throw the commons inside your, you know, tins or whatever. You guys can also pack inside tins. 
Tints hold approximately 500 cards. If, they, if you want to use that to help you guys count, we showed you guys our counting method in the beginning of the video. You guys can do that as well. Um, the cards we're taking as points right now is um, Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon, Magic the Gathering, and that's about it at the moment. Um, other things we are trading for would be like sealed monster, monster binders, uh, used monster binders, but only the, non, the nine pocket ones. Um, if we end up getting some more cards in the future, you know, we want to do a trade a trade binder video, we might we may do that in the future. A lot of people have been asking us what, what to do a trade binder, but uh, right now we're kind of shying away from that because we're putting a lot of cards, you know, up on eBay, selling cards at our locals and stuff like that. So we really don't. By the time we show them to you guys, they're already you know being traded. So it's not really worth us putting them up on YouTube just to tell you guys, oh no, we don't have it anymore. Um, I said like you know, a medium flat rate box. One more time. This is a large flattery box, free at the post office. Holds 7,500 cards if you pack it like we just showed you. And if you do the same with a medium flattery box, which is this size, you can put 5,000 cards. Sorry about the, you know, screwed up. All boxes are free at the post office, like we said before. Delivery confirmation on all packages is required to trade with us because we want to make sure that we're tracking your packages to us so that you don't feel like we're, you know, we don't want to get lost anywhere. We're not going to say, you know, you did it, we did it. We just want to make sure that we can track it all the way to us so we know your package is safe and, you know, for you as well, just to make sure that your package is safe. Um, other than that, we're going to be doing some playmat videos. We're going to update you guys on some of the playmats we have going on. Um, and we're going to update some contests because we have a lot of questions being asked about some of the contests, like our Facebook contest, our uh, subscribers contest, our um, Twitter contest. We have a whole bunch of contests going on right now, so we're just going to, like, make some videos whether it's, you know, tomorrow or today, I'm not sure yet. I'm going to try to do a playmat update for you guys right away, which is, like, you know, right after I'm done doing this video. And uh, that's about it, guys. Sorry for, you know, taking a little while to put all these cards in here. I appreciate you guys bearing with me to watch all that. But uh, hopefully we can help you guys get better cards. And, uh, you know, it's easy to send. Like I said, $15.75 to ship 7,500 cards. Their slogan is, if it fits, it ships. So 7,500 cards... 15 bucks. Our prices reflect shipping. If you guys have a whole bunch of points, 20,000 plus points, we'll be more than happy to help you out with shipping. All right, so if you guys have any questions, post below or uh, send us a private message. Thanks again for watching and uh, take it easy, YouTube.